Good morning, friends from Philadelphia. It is Good Friday. You know, so much can change in a matter of five days, but imagine what it's going to be like in a week. You see, on Palm Sunday, Jesus was welcomed with palms. He was greeted as the royal king. Now, he is treated like he committed a crime. Far too often, I think we have picked it, we have picked Barabbas over Jesus because of our own pleasures, because of the fear of rejection, because we want to fit in. You're not made to fit in. You're made to stand out. Friends, as we navigate Good Friday, let us take the time to choose Christ over all the worldly pleasures. Let us take time to say, to, to proclaim that we're not afraid to be faithful followers of Jesus. Let us take the time to be with him as he journeyed to Calvary. Because we're about to see today is he redeemed the whole world for the price of our sins. I will issue two challenges. First, today begins the Divine Mercy Novena. Take part in it, whether it's through the Hollow app with Jonathan Romy, Father Mike Schmitz, or you could do it on your own. Just don't forget to set a reminder on your phone so you don't forget. Two, take part in Station of the Cross near you. Whether it's lot a li live-in stations, which I'm going to do today, or at your church. And also, if you can, attend the Good Friday service at your church. And when you do, take the time to imagine yourself being at this great event thousands of years ago. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. May God's mercy be with you.